Like I said, you have to mix the cross-linker with a little bit of water to get it in solution and then mix the water into the paint. And this time I'm using a little bit less water because uh, the wa I think I used too much last time. So now I'm going to put 48 drops and you can just, you know, like that. We'll do this off camera. Come back later when it's mixed and ready to go. You can see the, the bubbling, the kind of like orange peel in here. And then what we're going to be doing is taking a brush and stroking those away. Let me go ahead and get do that. Uh, okay, I'm going to start doing the, the tipping. And just kind of lightly brush it. Yesterday when I was doing that first coat, I think I, I brushed it too hard. Just a light stroke. All you're trying to do is... Uh, Break the surface tension. I'll be the first to claim that I am not an excellent painter. Never have, never really want to be. So let me get this done and we'll come back. That's just basically more of the Second same. Second coat's on. Don't touch it. And I got the first coat of black on. I don't know if you can see that down there. The stripe. Uh, I was surprised it didn't go on thicker, but this is a fairly thin paint. One of the things I said I was going to do was drill out the holes. So I've got my, this is a special drill bit too. You can see it's got a step shoulder. Uh, Boeing Airplane Company uses a lot of these and I got this from when they had their surplus store. So this little smaller diameter will follow the small diameter I already have in there and act as a guide. So I'm going to go ahead. Okay, I'm centered in there now. We'll fill that up with some, uh, probably use some uh, uh, easy fill it to fill it in uh, and then let that cure. So let me go ahead and do this and get cleaned up. I'm getting ready to put on the fourth coat of white enamel and the third coat of the black and it's starting to really fill in nice. Uh, and I'll show you something else here in a little bit of uh, on the uh, how it's drying up. It's almost like you're putting the plastic coat on this thing. So this is what I was telling you about. This was the drip ring out of my uh, paper cup and it's just like it's tenacious plastic. Uh, I've got four coats on the bottom, three on the sides. Um, I'll see if that's enough. I may do one more on the side to see how it comes. Uh, this third coat is acting a little different, but I'll see how it uh, dries. Uh, that was more to me than the, the, the paint. So uh, now that I've finished it, uh, it'll, uh, the boat's going to sit here for about three weeks. Uh, to cure before I flip it back over and install the hardware on it. Uh, and then uh, it's um, out the door and uh, <laughs> into the elements and under its blue tarp with the rest of the books I have. So, well, it's confession time. Uh, some of the things that I told you were not exactly correct. The first thing off is the cross-linker needs to be put on each subsequent coat with cross-linker in it needs to be put on within eight hours. I was, uh, I couldn't find my old pamphlet until I completely finished and ran into another problem and went back looking for answers and I saw it. So my coats, one over the other with the cross link arm, will not be interlocked. But I'm pretty sure that the, uh, I was looking at my uh, Flycaster, the green boat on the, on the Flickr site. Uh, I painted that in April um, and it was cold and I'm pretty sure that I use subsequent coats on it and you'll know, paint one day and then the next and the next. Uh, and it came back for some uh, touch-up work to the guy I had uh, sold it to after he had spent the summer fly fishing. And I was amazed at how hard the bottom was even though it probably was not cross-linked. Now my nut hatch, my first little boat that I had ever built and painted with the LPU paint, uh, that is hard as rocks because I was able to get four coats on in one afternoon. Uh, it was about the time you got done finished cleaning up the paintbrushes and stuff it was ready to go again. So, eight hours on the cross-linking, you've got to do that. My other problem I had was I wasn't uh, on the black. The first couple coats were fine. I thought, okay, I'll go in and put a third coat on. I was running down with paint. 
Uh, I thought I would be able to get it out in time uh, or you know, have enough to do a coat. But the problem was it was too thin. I should have added some water to it. So when I rolled it on and come back with the brush to uh, tip it out, I was leaving streaks behind. So I, oh, Christ, now what have I done? So I've had to go on. I've had to go back and wet sand it with some 600 to get that off and now I will go ahead and put on the last coat so I had to go get some more paint but I might mix some water with it with a little thicker solution uh, and then we'll go with that. The other thing I want to mention when I was taking off you can see here the uh, I took off part of the uh, uh, masking tape and it was a bear to get it to break free from the, uh, the LPU white. Uh, I had to take a, a very sharp exacto brand new blade and run it along the edge between the trim and the, uh, the hull to uh, cut those three coats of LPU paint in order to lift the tape off. And I got some on my shoe and I'm pretty certain that white paint is going to be there until the soles rot off us. these things. So, uh, enough said, I've got the, uh, the bottom stripped back on again and uh, I overboard and instead of using um, um, gel magic and the holes I used easy fill it but I think if I was to do it again I would use uh, uh, mix up some epoxy and, and get a syringe and squeeze it in so the tip is in the bottom and there's no air bubbles I had a hard time getting the easy fill it down into the hole and not leave a cavity underneath so uh, also uh, all of these pamphlets uh, you can get online at system 3 you know they've got their paint pamphlet how to using their paints and primers and they've got their epoxy book with all kinds of different little hints and tricks in it and then they've got their stuff that you can order online from them or from your local System 3 dealer like uh, Chuck down at Duckworks. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this and then uh, that sh I'm going to bring that to a conclusion for this final paint out uh, with my uh, mistakes but I might go down over this thing and feel it it's just I've been here where I put on some extra coats. I mean, it's smooth as a baby's butt. And uh, one more coat or, you know, uh, two years from now and I'd sand it down or if I still have the boat myself, sand it down and put on another can of the LPU paint. Uh, it's going to be one tough hole. So let me get on with painting this out and continue. When we come back, the boat will be flipped back over and I'll be putting on the interior hardware and the rudder stuff and then going on the construction of the daggerboard and the rudder for this boat.